not being brave, this is being stupid. So when you go in and you overcome your fears, you need to think about which fears should you overcome and which fears should you actually listen to. And definitely in this case, this is where you see the fine line between being stupid and being brave. Um, this is also, if you go on vacation and you are so afraid of losing the contact to your workplace, you need to go in and look at this fear and see, is this something I can overcome or is this something I need to take care of? Because if you're in this case, you're on a beautiful island, you need to stop and think about, <laughs> what, am I, what the fuck am I doing? I'm just sitting here, I'm on a beautiful island, and still the only thing I can think about is my computer. So if you're afraid of losing everything, maybe you should stop and think about your life instead. So overcoming fear is not about just going away. Maybe, yeah, you can overcome fear by drinking. <laughs> <laughs> that is a really, really stupid idea. Because then the next day when you wake up, you will find out why you were afraid. Um, sometime, if you wake up. That's it. With the, with the crocodile thing, really, really stupid. Uh, but you can also try and call some friends. <laughs> because you sometimes need friends to help you overcome your fears, or maybe even see your fears. And friends can help you. If you call them, if you talk to them, stay in touch with your friends. They can help you overcome fears. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So, one of the good things that when you call your friends is you invite them over for dinner. So, Linda Rising <laughs> has, has, has the pattern of do food. So, when you do food together with people, you make a connection. That's also a way of overcoming fear. So, if you're afraid of, for instance, meeting someone, try to find some way you can share food. You can drink. And if you can do that, and once you try doing all these small steps, you will feel like a superhero. Because being brave and overcoming your fears is not always about doing all the big stuff. It can also be doing all the tiny stuff. And every time you do it, celebrate. Say, yeah, I overcame this fear. And in that way, you can overcome more fears. And then you can move on to the next step. And you can say, okay, now I invited uh, Bob Martin over for dinner. Well, what I did today was ask him to hug me. Uh, it's a little bit scary, though I hug a lot of people. Um, but you can now move on to the next step. You can go on and doing things that are really, really scary. And yes, you will get hurt. When you move into something where you overcome your fear, you will usually get hurt. The big balance is to find a place where you hurt yourself a little bit, but not so much that you actually get really hurt. Because you really want to overcome your fear, sometimes you need to step into <laughs> you need to step into a place where it hurts. Yeah, and when you start overcoming your fears, figure out who can actually help you for this. So, one of my big dreams is to sing in a punk band. And what you need to do first is to go in and find some people who is in the band. Otherwise, you cannot go in and work with them. You can also find a dude. <laughs> so, the real good thing about working with the dude is he can tell you how to really take things relaxed. So when you overcome your fears, think about what would the dude actually do? He would get a white Russian, of course. Um, so when you overcome... <laughs> and the good thing about the dude is also that he has a tremendous sense of humor. So when you go in and when you fail when overcoming your fears, Use your sense of humor, because that way you can just say, okay, I tried this, okay, that was fun. Use your sense of humor, humor to actually go in and overcome your fears. And yes, less is more. So when you go in to overcome your fears, take tiny, tiny steps. Because if you take the big steps, you will fail big. And if you fail big, you will not take the next step. So go in and take the little step. Otherwise, you will be eaten by the sharks if the first thing that you do is to jump into a pool of sharks. That's a really, really stupid thing to do. I know you saw Lara Croft. It doesn't work just punching the, the shark on the nose. So taking the small steps, doing less is more, is very important when you overcome your fears. Um, but you can actually overcome your fears. When I was younger, I would not even be able to look at this picture. <laughs> It's true, I cannot, I could not, until five years ago, I could not even touch a plastic spider. But you can go in and you can overcome your fears, and I'll probably never get to that one. But I can actually now look at a picture. And 
Take the things again. Take the low risk things. Do tiny things. Okay, I touch a plastic spider. That's okay. You don't just go in and put your hand into a tarantula or even worse, the Sydney spider who kind of has really, it's really, really poison. Uh, so take low risks and try if you can find a high, how, <coughs> high outcome. Oh, interesting. Um, <laughs> So being, I think, I'm not sure if being trustworthy is about overcoming your fears, but it should be trustworthy to yourself. Uh, be, so put trust in yourself and what you do, and if you say you will do something, do it. And if you can find a body to help you, do this. It's so much easier to overcome fears if you have someone who can help you. Someone you can call and say, shit, I'm in trouble with my work, I think about it all the time. So what should I do? Should I take the red pill or should I take the blue pill? And the answer is always for me, I take the red pill. I go all the way in, I go all the way. So when you overcome your fears, you need to take this decision. And then it's good to have a friend that you can actually relate to that can help you. So call for help. Because your friends may not be around you, but they are always friends. And sometimes you can even, I even use stuff like Twitter. And people that I have never expected to help me will help me on Twitter with some of the stuff that I need to go and explore my courage. And yes, so this is... <laughs>